to write uh, y as a function of x, you have to be able to get the y alone. Now, um, I'm going to do 13 really fast because you actually can get the y alone right here. But the problem is you don't get a function. All right, so I'm going to do 13 right here. I'm going to get the put the x squared over to the other side. So I have y squared equals 4 minus x squared. All right, what would I do to get this y alone? I would square root it. Whenever you square root inside of an equation, you have to have a plus or minus. And therein lies the problem. If I plug a number into x, and I try to pick a number that makes it easy, uh, like, um, like 2. If I plug 2 into this, would it be considered a function? If I plug 2 into this, what would I get? I get 4 minus 2 squared, and I square root that, and it's plus or minus. What is that going to be? A 4. And so uh, 4 minus 4, what does that give me? Zero. So I have plus or minus the square root of zero. All right, well, you can't have a positive or negative zero, so it's just zero. So I actually I just get one number here. But what if I put um, a one right here? What do I get when I plug in one? If I go one squared, that would be four minus one squared. I get, uh, that's just a one, so I get plus or minus the square root of three. All right, how many y values do I get when I plug in a one? You get two y values, and you can't have that. You get a positive red three, and you get a negative red three, and that is not a function. So can I write this as a function of x? Can I write this y as a function? No, I cannot. It doesn't give me a function right here. In fact, uh, this one you could you can't write as a function of x. This one you can. This one you can't. This one you can. This one you can't. No. Yes, this is a function of y, or a function of x, because if I plug in an x value here, I'm only going to get one y value. So that's what you have to do. You have to get the y value alone and test it to see if, when you plug in an x value, if you only get one y value. You look confused. Ask me a question. Your question was, how come this isn't plus or minus right here? Because the square root sign is already there. Now, when we add a square root sign to the equation, then we have to have the plus or minus. So, does that kind of make sense? Yeah, when you when you do the function of square rooting onto an equation, you have to have plus or minus. If the square root's already there, then that's only you know it's already there. You're not adding a square root to it, so you don't you're not going to do the plus or minus thing to it. Okay, and here really quick, this one the function looks like this. Wait, it'd be five to the left. It'd be, look like this. This one right here, to get the y alone, you'd have to square root, so you would get y equals plus or minus the square root of x. There's the positive square root, which would be that, and the negative square root, which would be that. And now if I try the vertical line test, it would hit the, the function in two points. So it's, it's not a function. Okay, good question. Thank you for that.